a meteorologist, Zach Hatcher. We didn't have a whole lot of rain today, but I'm telling you that's going to take a turn as we go into the middle of next work week. We stayed mostly dry in the Delta other than a few showers, light showers in eastern counties, but we're going to remain dry for the rest of the evening and most of tomorrow. We could have a few isolated showers still lingering about tomorrow morning, but the rest of your Sunday is looking to be a little bit better. Heavier rain is definitely on the way. All the models are agreeing that we could have a little bit of a flash flood risk as early as Wednesday. We have plenty of cloud cover streaming in out of the west, moving eastward, and then we're going to keep plenty of that overnight. That's going to help keep temperatures from getting too cool. We're going to wake up to low 50s, maybe mid 50s, but right now 65 in Greenwood, 67 in Greenville, and 68 in Clarksdale about 69 in Monticello. So this is kind of what we got now and we're going to keep these temperatures for a few more hours. We'll maybe see them drop another six to eight degrees by 7 a.m. That's not too bad. 54 degrees by 7 a.m. Just a chance of a few isolated showers. By noon we're going to have a northeast wind at 15 to 20 miles an hour with the occasional gust maybe up to 25 miles an hour. 61 degrees by noon and then by 5 p.m. we'll be close to 70 mild conditions going throughout your Sunday evening. So looking at the temperatures across the map, we have a cold front that's hanging out just to the northwest of the delta. It's kind of stationary. It's not doing a whole lot of moving. And we have an upper level ridge and that's helping to keep things fairly warm across the central United States. And we'll see that kind of stay with us for another day or two until the pattern changes. Randolph and Pace sent in this photo of some cloud cover in Bolivar County along Highway 8. Just a neat little photo there. Futurecast shows that cold front starting to move early tomorrow morning. It should be just south of the Delta. There could be a few isolated showers showing up there in green early Sunday morning, but the better chance for rain and the flash flood risk is going to be Wednesday into Thursday. We could pick up maybe a significant amount of rainfall in a short amount of time if these models actually do tend to agree and are right. So this turns into a warm front tomorrow night and we get winds coming back from out of the south southwest. That's going to keep things warm over the next several days. We're not going to see the front move a whole lot, but as it does shift eastward, we'll see the winds kind of increase maybe 20 miles an hour, gusting to 25. That's going to bring in a lot of moisture and we'll see that being unleashed from the atmosphere on Wednesday as that risk for flooding increases. Starting to see some heavier rain showing up on Tuesday morning and then as we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday we really start to see it in those yellows there that's heavier rain and if that could be shifted a little bit further south or northward but the general thinking with these models is we're going to get anywhere from two to maybe four inches of rain just from Wednesday into Thursday that will cause some flash flooding and you'll want to have your rain gear for the middle part of the week for sure. Looking into uh, Friday though, that's going to continue to wash out and we're going to be drier for Friday into Saturday. Temperatures tomorrow morning, 51 in Cleveland, 52 in Greenville and 53 in Greenwood, making it close to 70 in Greenville tomorrow and maybe not so much in Cleveland, 64. Warmer air or just warm air, you could say. But 20% chance of rain for tomorrow, that's in the morning hours. We're going to be dry, mostly dry at least, on Monday. Then those heavier rain chances really start to work their way back into the forecast. I'm already given Wednesday a 90% chance of rain, and that's from Wednesday into Thursday. We could get some flash flooding, Denise. So. Wow. Okay, well, got to get our umbrellas out, I guess. Splash through some puddles. <laughs> Thank you so much, Zach.